Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be discussing business benefits for offering childcare. Offering childcare as an employee benefit can help your business in many ways. We'll talk about how it will help your business and how you could recoup some money at tax time if you offer childcare as an employee benefit. We know that access to quality childcare is vitally important to businesses. Childcare is a key benefit that can attract the best employees. In today's staffing crisis, offering childcare is more important than ever for employers who want to attract and retain the best talent. Businesses that offer a childcare benefit see many positive outcomes, including increases in employee productivity, engagement, trust, autonomy, and empowerment. For 20 years, there's been a federal program that helps businesses to provide childcare on site or through a contract and receive a valuable tax credit of 25% of related expenses, up to $150,000. This is the Employer Provided Child Care Facilities and Services Tax Credit, and it exists to help businesses that want to offer child care as a benefit to their employees. Before we dive into the content, the information contained in here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies Early Start and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies Early Start team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information, but we cannot guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information is not intended to create and receipt does not constitute an attorney-client relationship or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. So today we'll be discussing if you're a child care provider, how can you qualify for this tax credit? And how can another business qualify? How can a non-child care provider business qualify for this credit? How do you get your money back for this tax credit and how much would you get back? And for child care providers, what opportunities does it offer you in your community and in terms of business expansion? There are three ways which employers can offer child care services that qualify for the employer provided child care facilities and services credit. First, the credit can be used for a child care facility that, has an, that, that an employer has on site in one of its operating locations. This doesn't have to be a facility that the employer itself is running. The employer could contract with a separate entity to run the program on site. Second, the employer may contract with the child care business to offer off-site child care services. And third, employers could contract with a child care resource and referral agency, known as CCR&Rs, to help employees find child care in their area. There are some rules and restrictions around how to qualify for this tax credit. If an employer seeks to receive a tax credit for offering child care as an employee benefit, enrollment in the child care program must be open to all employees. It cannot favor any groups of employees, such as those who are highly compensated. I'll say it again. Enrollment in the program must be open to all employees and cannot favor certain groups of employees as far as enrolling the children in the program. If a child care business seeks to claim this tax credit for services offered to its own employees, so if you're a child care business and your employees are able to send their children to your facility at a reduced or, um, at, or complimentary cost, then at least 30% of enrolled children must be employees dependents. For example, if your child care program has 20 enrolled children, at least six children, 30% of 20, must be dependents of your employees for your business to be able to claim this credit. Costs related to constructing, expanding, or rehabilitating a property that is used for the child care facility can also be included, but only when facilities are located at a site other than the principal residence of the taxpayer seeking to claim the benefit. So for this reason, sole proprietors of home-based programs are most likely excluded from the provision around costs related to construction, expansion, or rehabilitation. However, 
sole providers can claim other qualified expenses. It is important to note that the total of the expenses which you want to claim cannot exceed the fair market value of the child care facility. So how much can you claim? The employer provided child care facilities and services credit offers a credit of up to 25% of child care expenses, plus 10% of expenditures related to resource and referral, with a maximum of $150,000 per year. This tax credit reduces the amount of taxes owed by the employer, and in a way, it's like the employer is getting cash back at the end of the year. To claim this credit, businesses can claim the credit on IRS Form 8882. It's a simple and straightforward form. Employers can claim the total amount of qualified child care expenditures, which includes the operating expenses of, of a facility, regardless of whether the facility is in-house or off-site, and whether it is run by another contracted entity. Moreover, businesses should include costs for training child care employees and providing increased compensation to employees with higher levels of child care training. So once again, the employer provided child care facilities and services tax credit is determined by multiplying the total incurred qualified expenses by 25%. So in example one, this business, Gidgets and Gizmos, has a $50,000 annual contract with an off-site child care program called Happy Apple Child Care. The total qualified expenses for Gidgets and Gizmos will be the total cost of their contract with Happy Apple Child Care. So that's $50,000. But if Gidgets and Gizmos also contracts with a local CCR&R resource and referral agency, to connect employees to other options for child care programs, in addition to their contract with Happy Apple Child Care, then this business's annual contract with their local CCRNR would be $10,000. So if Gidgets and Gizmos has a $50,000 contract with an offsite child care program to provide child care to their employees, children, and dependents, and they maintain a contract with a local CCRNR for $10,000 per year. Then to figure out their tax credit for this particular employees provided, employer provided child care facilities and services tax credit, you would multiply the contract cost for providing the child care of $50,000 by 25%, which equals $12,500. 10% of CCRNR expenditures can be claimed for the credit. 10% of $10,000 would be $1,000. And so Gidgets and Gizmos total employer provided child care facilities and services tax credit would be $13,500. Now let's think of another example. There's a different employer, Wacky Widgets, and they contract with little learners to offer child care services at the Wacky Widgets office building. So they're providing, another company is providing child care services on site at Wacky Widgets. Total qualified expenses for Wacky, Wacky Widgets can include costs of the on site facility and the total cost incurred of Wacky Widgets contract with little learners. So Wacky Widgets can look at how much space that they are using for the child care program. They can itemize however much is used on um, the cost of the space, right, for, for rent or mortgage, utilities, maintenance. Again, this is only for the section of the facility used for the child care program. In this example, Wacky Widgets itemizes $30,000 for this program. And then in this example, Wacky Widgets has a $120,000 annual contract with Little Learners. Wacky Widgets can claim the employer provided child care facilities and services tax credit for 25% of that total amount because Wacky Widgets has the child care program on site and since they are paying the bill 
bills to maintain that section of their building they own or are responsible for that portion of their building, they can also claim the expenses related to um, maintaining that space. So 25% in total of their total sum, their total sum for this benefit is $150,000. 25% would be $37,500 that they could claim as a tax credit at the end of the year. So in Wacky Widget's example, really the cost of their employee benefit program is not $150,000. It's really $120,000. So really, the cost of Wacky Widget's child care program is not $150,000. It's 75% of $150,000 because they're receiving a 25% credit on their annual taxes. As a child care provider, there are two ways that you can benefit. First, as we already mentioned, you can be an eligible, eligible employer yourself if at least 30% of the children enrolled in your child care program are dependents of your employees. Now, depending on the size of your program, this might be a difficult threshold to reach 30% of enrolled children. The second option presents a great opportunity for child care businesses. Child care providers can negotiate a contract with an area employer and let them know about the employer provided child care facilities and services credit. Child care providers can reinforce as a selling point that employers can claim qualified expenses on their taxes and get refunded up to 25%, which thereby decreases the actual cost of the child care benefit, as we saw in the last example. There's an info sheet targeted toward business owners, which is available on childcare.texas.gov. Childcare.texas.gov has a wealth of resources, such as the ability to sign up for one-on-one -on -one business coaching for free and other resources to strengthen your childcare business. All of these resources, including coaching, is available in both English and in Spanish. Again, we have produced a short info sheet for employers on this tax credit which you are welcome to share as part of your conversations about developing a contract with area businesses for employee benefit programs for childcare. If you are watching this video and want to learn more about this credit claim yourself, ask your accounting professional or tax preparer for more information to determine if you qualify and what expenses may be included.